This is Twit. So uh, the Oppo Reno 2, Reno or Reno? Re- Reno, Reno. Reno, okay. Um, I'm, I'm assuming it's named after the French artist uh, oh, because okay. this is a f- phone which is really has imaging as, as its strong point. Nice. So what do we have here? So I'm looking at, sorry, Burke is, is uh, bringing in a roll of paper towels for my nose. <laughs> Thank you, Burke. <laughs> <laughs> He's I actually, actually, Burke, I do appreciate it because I, I might need all it's of It's going to be that much. It's, it's, it's truly man-sized. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Okay, so the Oppo Reno 2 or Reno, uh, it's very, very shiny. It's I very shiny. Say. Very um, reflective. Ron isn't here to, to, to give me a row, but it is, sh- it is a shiny smartphone. It's, it's from shiny. the company called <laughs> Oppo. <laughs> The company called Oppo, who uh, are very big uh, in China and Southeast Asia, and it is a lovely smartphone in the high mid uh, mid range segment of the market. So this device is about four hundred pounds or five hundred dollars. It is a full screen smartphone, as you can see. There's close to no bezel at the top, the bottom, and the sides. And the way that that happens is that it has a pop up selfie camera. So you'll see at the top, oh, there's a shark fin right. selfie camera, <laughs> yeah. which is really, really good. So it's a, it's a good that's selfie cool. camera. Uh, but this is how they've managed to deliver a 6.5-inch display with no notch. And it's a lovely AMOLED display. It works really, really well. So this is, as I said, a $500 uh, smartphone, <laughs> more or less. And it's running, uh, in this case, it's running a... Uh, Snapdragon 730 chipset. So that's the 730G chipset. It's not the full 8 series chipset. Mm. It has a lower end uh, graphics chipset. But for most users, whether they're going to be playing games, whether they're going to be using it normally or heavily, it makes little difference. Right. So as far as a, as far as a, a smartphone goes, this is, to most users, going to be a flagship. As I said, nice big screen, aluminium body with uh, glass sandwich design. It has holographic design on the back. It, as you can see here, it is not oh, only yeah. very shiny; it has a feeling of depth to the to the to the glass, like iridescent. And as well as that, the the engineering feat, in my view, is that there's no camera bump. This is a completely smooth back. Oh, yeah, nice. The whole back of the phone is also covering the lenses. So, very impressive design, and a little touch is this notch at the back. What is that It gives for? you a tactile feel, and if you put the device down on its back, you won't scratch the lenses. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, so, it's, so, it has so it's a, a it's like protrudes. Well, no, it protrudes oh, a little bit. Oh, it does. Bit. Okay, that's what that is. I didn't know if it was an indentation, but no, it's a it's an Audi, not an any. <laughs> <laughs> but and it doesn't look like you would notice it just at first glance because of the way that the paint or color is on it yeah, yeah. Sort of so blends. that's yeah that's good from like from that. from from a purely from an aesthetic standpoint this is a beautiful phone um it is really really nice and it also feels nice to hold it has good weighting it feels good to hold and use it's really nice to type on when you're typing with two thumbs as as i do often it's a good smartphone which is running Android 9 at the moment, but will be updated uh, to Android 10. Now, when I say Android, it's actually Oppo's Android distribution called Color OS. In this right. case, it's Color OS 6.1. So it has its own launcher with an app drawer. You swipe up to get into your apps. Uh, you can go left to their equivalent of your Google Smart Home, the Smart Assistant page, and you can add widgets and features to this. So overall, really good smartphone, excellent battery life. Even bigger advantage is on the bottom. So not only do you have Type C for connectivity, you mm-hmm. have a Courage port. Woo. That's a three point five millimeter audio jack. That, but th- that's impossible. How did they do that? How did they add a Courage port in this phone? Very. I carefully. think there's a very good product trade-off decision that they had to make. <laughs> do we make it waterproof or not? <laughs> Oh, okay. So this is no, has no no form no official IP rating. It's not a waterproof smartphone, but 
it has this advantage, that 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Now, I've been using this to film some videos for the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel and with an external microphone which connects via 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Mm -hmm. And this is the very good smartphone for that. The 48 megapixel sensor on the back not only takes really good pictures, backed up by Oppo's software, it also records video in 4K. So overall, a really good smartphone. But it also has a wide-angle lens, a depth sensor, and a monochrome or black-and-white sensor. Mm -hmm. And Oppo's software, that ColorOS, and its camera app really do a good job of handling nighttime photography. Uh, Victor, in our, in our uh, show notes, we've got the YouTube video that the Tech Travel Geeks did. Uh, I took this to Singapore and Shenzhen, nighttime photography in uh, these cities with skyscrapers lit up is really impressive on this $500 smartphone. I would say it works better than some of the other flagships I've been using recently mm -hmm. in low light. So it's just a, a different approach to nighttime photography. Rather than take one long exposure, it takes a burst of pictures in a fraction of a second right. and then does all the processing in the background. But even Good old in computational. Yeah. Yes. Even in, in normal lighting conditions, the dynamic range is really impressive. And you and I were out of the beach Yeah, I was a little night. angry at his, his dynamic range yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so it looked now, so compa good. Compared to what? So this versus... The pixel. Your Pixel. My DSLR. Okay. It, it, it this was, had better dynamic range than... Really? It did. We wow. were shooting directly into the sunlight. Because we're trying to get to sunset. Yeah. So you're going to immediately get silhouette and really, really dark shadows. Right. Yes, indeed. And the computational was like, oh, let me just pretty that up a little oh, bit for you. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh. So it did well in that perspective. Okay. Yeah. So in, in this situation, I was pointing right at the sun and Ant's orange Clemson Tigers uh, T-shirt and, and hoodie were standing out as orange things on the sand, something that you wouldn't see in... in in normal situations, right. even with something like a Pixel or the new iPhone, yep. I was doing a comparison. But this is the strength of the device, yeah, is that nighttime no photography is, is stunning from a device which isn't a tr true flagship. So I really want to get my hands on the new Oppo flagships to put them through their nighttime photography uh, st uh, steps. Yeah. So, And not only that, the screen itself is very good. Let me pull up the picture from last night. Oh yeah, I would love to see that on the display. So this is on the on the display of the device. See? Oh, okay. Uh, you can hey, see I'm so we're, we're standing down all. in a hole and you can see the shadow that's cast in in that hole yeah. where we're standing. Yeah. There's a bit of a lens flare there, but apart from that the orange on Ant's top Just didn't want it, it was oh, reflecting. Sorry, yeah. No, it's all good. Yeah. There like, you go. There we go. The, the orange, uh, this ant should have been blown out by the light coming off the, the sea. Yeah, you're right. And then wow. another advantage, uh, we mentioned uh, Father Robert Balliser earlier. So the Oppo Reno 2 comes with a uh, screen protector already applied. Mm -hmm. Not only does it have a screen protector already applied, uh, when you purchase it, at least in the UK, you get... Uh, pleather case for it. It's not mocodile, but it's it's nice. It has real stitching on it and it has all the relevant ports. And that pop-up selfie camera can be used quite easily here. Oh, even with the case Even on. with the case nice. on because it's, it's shaped appropriately. Now, maybe we're getting a bit of extra reflection there, so we'll give a nod to Oh. Father Robert Balser. Oh, Father no. Robert, this is for no, you. No. This is for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Take off that screen protector. Which means that the f under screen fingerprint scanner works even faster now. Oh, see, the phone looks even better without that screen oh, protector. Man. It does. I'm afraid to scratch the screen. It's such a lovely device. Yeah. Uh, but the fingerprint scanner is fast. It's nice to hold. Overall, I'm questioning why I would spend more than the $500 on this smartphone for a true flagship. What yeah, are the real right, advantages? Right. When it can do that computational photography, when it can edit video the way it does, I see this as a big challenger to the, to the more expensive devices. And in a way, it's filling that gap in the market one plus left when it moved right. up market in terms of its pricing. Do you like color OS? It's something that you learn to live with, but yeah. also in the last couple of years, ColorOS has improved 
having that pull up app drawer, it is much more similar to the Google experience of Android mm-hmm. or Android open source, uh, the Android open source project experience. Yeah. So I'd say well done to Oppo. This is really uh, a big step up for them. This is their second generation of devices for sale in the UK and Europe at scale. And that makes me even more excited about the Oppo Reno 3 and the Oppo Reno 3 series. Uh, this is a company that you may not have heard of much in, in the US, but uh, is really stepping up its game. And in terms of connectivity, I haven't had any issues connecting to at and T4G or uh, T-Mobile 4G here. Mm. I haven't tested it on Verizon or Sprint, uh, but I imagine it wouldn't work very well on those networks because this is a GSM. GSM. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right on. My only beef with that phone, um, and heck, pretty much most of the phones today, is I'm, I'm still not a fan of the thin bezels on phones. It's just, seems like I have a better experience swiping um, less accidentally mm-hmm. when I had a bezel there. You okay. know? But it seems like that's the craze and the way that everything's going to go on phones nowadays. It is. Yeah, it really seems that way. 